Hey everyone, today I will be showing you how to create consistent characters using Adobe Firefly better than Midjourney. Let me be clear, this is not clickbait. I am genuinely amazed by the consistency of the images generated in Adobe Firefly. I will illustrate how to create consistent characters and the process is surprisingly uncomplicated. So stick around until the end. To ensure the reliability of the results, I have put it to the test with various scenarios to confirm that it consistently produces the same characters. Furthermore, by the end, I will showcase all the generated images so you can genuinely discern the differences between each one. But before we delve into the details, let me offer a brief introduction to our channel. If you are keen on staying updated about the latest AI tools and mastering their efficient usage, you have come to the right place. Our channel delivers straightforward tutorials and is committed to keeping you well informed. Remember to please hit that subscribe button. Your support greatly aids us in producing more valuable content. Now, let us get started. Let us kickstart the process by generating an image that we'd like Adobe Firefly to replicate. For this attempt, we will use the prompt, a young child with brown hair and blue eyes, a cartoon character with a full body. It is important to note that when striving for consistency in character creation, it is vital to include a comprehensive description of their physique. This aids the AI in accurately interpreting the prompt. With that said, let us proceed and click on the Generate button. Currently, my focus is on creating characters in a cartoon style for this video. However, it is worth noting that in the upcoming videos, I will be delving into the fascinating realm of achieving consistency in different styles, including hyper-realistic images and the popular anime style. So, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to ensure you don't miss out on those exciting future episodes. Now, let us continue. We've got four characters option to choose from. However, before making our selection, I'd like to adjust the aspect ratio. So, we will regenerate another image. There we go. It has provided us with another set of four characters. So, I have picked up a character for today's experiment. I will go with this one. And all I need to do is download the image. It is important to emphasize that the image we've just downloaded will serve as a reference point for the consistent character we intend to create in the future. After downloading, in the Match section, we will upload this reference image. In the prompt, we will modify the last part to specify the desired activity for our character. In this case, I have added Playing Basketball and then click on Generate. Next, we will pick one that we like. By the way, if you compare the images here, you will notice that they are not exactly the same, but they do bear some resemblance. Rest assured, AI will soon grasp our intent to create a consistent character. So, this will be our consistent character. Let us begin by downloading this one. We won't need to upload another image in the reference. I'll keep it simple with the same prompt, but change the last part. Now, I will replace it with Eating Burger and click on Generate. Can you see how it is becoming more consistent? They look much more alike, right? I will save the image that I think has the closest resemblance. Now, let us continue by altering the last part of the prompt. I will add Holding a Dog. Wow, this is truly remarkable. AI is now getting the idea that you want a consistent character. It looks nearly identical, and they have full full bodies while engaging in different activities. Isn't it amazing? Let us download this image because I will let you decide later if it truly appears consistent. Now, let us try another prompt. I will add running and then click on generate. Wow! I am truly impressed with the images displayed here. Even the polo he is wearing is almost identical, right? 
but let us try once more to really highlight how consistent the characters have become. Let us attempt another prompt, such as outside a greenhouse. Whoa, this is absolutely incredible. It is becoming incredibly consistent. With nearly every image bearing a striking resemblance, even the polo is now consistent. But let us explore another prompt. I will change it to riding a bike. To be honest, the consistency is truly remarkable, isn't it? It is quite evident. I appreciate the image quality and I am genuinely amazed. As you can see, the polo is consistently styled. AI has clearly grasped our goal of creating a consistent character. For the final test, let us introduce another character, a girl. I will use the prompt talking to a girl. Let us see if this makes a difference. Wow, even with the addition of another character, the result is still remarkably similar, isn't it? Now, I will present all the generated characters we have created. I will let you be the judge and determine if they exhibit consistency. So, what are your thoughts? Do you find the characters consistent? Are you as impressed as I am? Do you like the outcome? Were you misled by the title? Please share your opinions below. I am genuinely interested in hearing your thoughts on Adobe Firefly and whether you have tried it as well. And do you think, is it better than Midjourney? I would love to read and hear your thoughts about it. On another note, if you find yourself uncertain about where to start with Adobe Firefly, I've got you covered. I've put together a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide that is designed to assist newcomers like you in getting acquainted with the platform. Don't hesitate to take a look at it. It is a valuable resource that can make your image creation journey in Adobe Firefly considerably more manageable. In conclusion, I hold the belief that Adobe Firefly harbors significant potential when it comes to producing consistently themed characters. The prospect of forthcoming updates hold promise for further refining this capacity, making it even more impressive. As we anticipate these improvements, I am optimistic that the software will continue to evolve and expand its capabilities. Ultimately, my aim is, with this tutorial has been to provide you with useful guidance throughout the process of crafting uniform characters using Adobe Firefly. I hope you have found this tutorial informative and that it equips you with the knowledge and skills you need to create consistent characters that align with your creative vision. Thank you for watching and again, Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I hope this video helps you out and I would love to see you in the next video.